good to go but unfortunately not everybody thinks on the same wavelength um i think this is not like the first time the this player odell i'm hearing is like having trouble you know has had issues with his integrity and whatnot um so resurrection clause that. we're bringing back mr whoopee <laughs> yeah that's cool resurrection um, clause i love me so much whoopee man like there isn't a lot of negan representation going on right now out there in tournaments and we were talking about just a bit earlier about how he feels that much more complete now and I remember when they made those changes recently, um, Nee started using him a little bit more. In yeah, which yeah, is Nii crazy because Nee was one of the first players to call out that Negan is not a character. Right, right, right. And with the new buffs, just just simply being able to do a low with the bat and, and just going into the bat stance a few more times, like that helped him out a lot. He was already known as like a solid character because he didn't really have that many moves, but the moves that he did have were really, really good. Like the pokes, the launchers, everything, they were good. He just didn't have that much. So like, what else can you do to kind of make him feel more complete? You put all the pieces together, you let him transition from here to there a little bit easier. And that's what you got now. I think Negan is also currently one of the slept on characters now. He's really good. Really, really good. All right. So just in case you guys know, you guys probably just saw that Mr. Whoopi got eliminated earlier. But again, that was due to the fact that there was dishonesty in the bracket. You cannot lie about your location uh, when playing in these tournaments. So unfortunately, Odell is out and banned from this tournament and also the follow-up central tournament. Mr. Whoopi is now replacing him as the matchup uh, that should have never happened. Anyways, going into this right now, Mr. Whoopi and Sour Piggy, this is part of our loser's bracket action. Uh, winner of this match will move on to fight Sparrow Jim. If you look at the top of your screen, both these guys are representing the collective. I think that might be what the, the group out of uh, the Maryland, uh, Delaware, Virginia area calls themselves. So, you know, that just means that both these guys have definitely logged plenty of time playing against each other. Round one with Mr. Whoopi. Um, another matchup, another case where we might see a lot of like ex mind games play out between these two that we probably haven't seen before or things that you know, these guys know about each other, but we don't. And it might like cause for a few weird situations. You never know. We'll see what happens. Oh my goodness! Round two. I think that Sour Piggy might kind of be caught off guard a little bit, having probably expected to play against Odell for like a few minutes now, and at the very last second, you know, it switched up, and now it's like a regular training partner of his. We'll see how that affects him. But I doubt. I doubt it. You know, these guys are pros. These guys are vets. Played in plenty of tournaments. So Whoopi took the first round, but he's down big in round number two, trying to throw the kitchen sink at Sour Picky. That's a nice side step. He was on the verge of making that comeback too. He was probably one or two hits away. The perfectly timed side step from Sour Picky. So yeah, that was get him big. this first round. Yep. I mean, looking at the matchup here and how it's playing out so far, I mean, looks like these guys obviously know the know, know the characters. They may have a bit familiarity with each other. Yeah. So it really is going to matter how these. Oh, he had the duck locked and loaded there. I thought he was going to yeah. go with the wall setting too, but a bit too a slow there. Very, very late attempt to punish. I think yeah. he recognized the high a little bit too late. Fight. And with Sour Piggy looking really good right now. Oh, man. That's the second time he got that Ugh. trade. I, I thought these guys knew each other. That's like a typical Negan trap where you trade on the, the push and you get like a big boy launcher. Trade. That's a quick 70%, 80% now. Oh, look at that huge lead oh, here for Mr. Whoopi, man. keeping that pressure by the wall. But again, Julia, she is so scary when she has her back to the wall as well. Mm -hmm. Just chipping it down there. He's going to take game one. Oh, to start off the round, launcher. Huh? I guess you might as well take the risk when you have more life to be in the news. Wow, he wasn't ready for it. Wall pressure to come. Nice, staying on the ground, threw that off. Sour Piggy, no wall pressure. Here's more laying on the ground. Oh, nice sidestep attack into Mad Axis, and he's gonna, cl oh no, it's close. Yeah. One more hit. <laughs> Maybe the second time of laying on the ground wasn't the right play, but I saw what he was doing the first time. It was a really bad situation, but he threw Sour Piggy off, but he lost his chance to kind of make the comeback. He never got on, he never got on his feet. He never got up. Never had a chance. Again, mm -hmm. there is another match, of course, so we'll see how that's gonna play out. Uh, Sour Piggy, man, playing just very, very solid here using that Julia. And, you know, hasn't even used uh, Anna from what we've seen in the tournament. Nah. He's been sticking to Julia the entire time. And the Throw way the that boss. he's playing Julia, I think it's more of like a low risk style where he's able to drag the matches out. He's able to see how his opponent reacts to a lot of these situations before he might pull out some of the more risky stuff. I mean, we saw him play Obscure and there was a big moment where he took a risk that kind of really, really backfired. And that oh, was yeah. a big turning point in the set when he went for that bow and arrow. So... That could be playing a part, you know, uh, you know, playing into effect like how he's playing now. Like that could be a factor 
that he's thinking about like man maybe i'm too risky maybe i'm too crazy let me just try to tone it down let me slow it down see what happens and that worked out pretty well for him even though like that last round it started off kind of rocky that launcher yeah tough stuff but again we're going into match number two sour piggy does have a lead right now uh thoughts here do you think there's gonna be some adjustments are we gonna see uh are we see whoopee able to come back from this i mean you we saw whoopee uh in the match it shouldn't have happened we saw him uh using leo as well do you think there mm -hmm. might be a chance for a switch i don't think there's gonna be a leo this time around um i don't know it's just like a hunch that game was really really close and it was it was like a really really silly reason that whoopi lost that final round like not being able to get to your feet and like defend is kind of like a rookie mistake just not like not tech rolling and laying there and i think he just committed too hard to that strategy of trying to escape the wall pressure so it, it really just came down to that one mistake. Outside of that, it was a neck and neck game. And you really don't want to like just choose an entirely different character just because you make one small mistake. Um, you don't want that coming back to, to bite you. Uh, so I don't think that he will switch. Um, also, like when Whoopi played Leo against Odell, that was even worse than he played when he played me. He didn't really get to show off too much with Leo. It's probably too rusty for this tournament. Maybe something he'll try in a future event, but like, Pretty confident they'll just stick with Negan. All right, going into the matchup again. Here we go. He is going to stick, kind of like you said. We're going to the Devil's Pit, and this is where we're going to have uh, either, you know, Sour Piggy, if he gets this match, he's going to move on and he's going to fight against Sparrowgin, or Mr. Whoopi will have another chance to fight for that right. I think Sparrowgin would really rather fight um, Mr. Whoopi here. I know that um, Party Crasher is just a really hard to deal with as Eddie. Like you're not gonna be able to lay and relax that comfortably. That elbow is, it's just low enough to get uh, Eddie out of that stance. And if he's in handstand, that's gonna knock him out of it. So Julia, she she plays that pretty well. And with with uh, against Negan, Eddie, you know how we talked about Spiro always loving to go under highs. There's gonna be more opportunities for him to do that if he plays against Mr. Whoopi. So Lyra Spiro, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Whoopi can make the comeback, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. And, you know, Julie just one of those overall, <laughs> I, I guess, I don't know, stacked character. Really has so many <laughs> tools for so many matchups. And I think that's a matchup that he probably wants to avoid. But you never know. You never know. Sometimes people want the challenge. I know Sparrowgin is a, a warrior. He's a gladiator. Yeah. I'm sure he'll take on anybody. I also forgot to mention that I think it was Sour Piggy who sent him to losers. So is he the type to want to avoid the guy who beat him? Or is he going to want to get that revenge? You know, you want to kind of close, turn the page on that one. Some people like running it back. Yeah. I think Spiro is. Sour Piggy continue with the lead. Gets a nice hop kick series here. That should be able to get to the wall as well. Goes for the down one plus two finisher. Trying to keep him there. Kept him grounded. Oh, and the frame advantage into the wall standing three. That's going to be lights out. Sour Piggy with a very impressive round number two. One round away. No walls here at the bottom floor. One round away from taking it. Nice wall standing two from Mr. Whoopi. This is his time to shine. Let's see what he does with it. Just continuing the offense. Ooh, got him with the low. And look at this. Big counter hit, though. Uh-oh. There's no wall, so you're going to have to modify things. Goes for a mix-up into Mad Axis. Mmm, nice spacing. Yeah, that's Is a that... very interesting move there, too. Oh, and look at that. Wow. Perfect spacing there from Sour Piggy. Able to clutch it out. Now, moving on in the loser's bracket where he's going to be facing off against Sparrowgin next. So what was, do you think? What do you think? That was fast, man. We're going to get the run back, but I thought that Whoopi was going to be able to slow it down a little bit more. But, you know, sometimes when things don't go your way, it only goes downhill from there. It's like it kind of just the momentum was too much. But Spiro versus Whoopi. Ooh. And we are still in, in just like two out of three territory. That's uh, important to be noted, I think, because I feel like a longer set would favor Spiro. Since he's so good at wearing you down, and that's kind of how he plays, like, we're still in short set territory. Um, I would have loved to see how that first set played out, because that way, 